In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of the Redeemer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in these two readings, uh, the first reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians and then from the Gospel of Matthew, uh, touch on this uh, relationship between the law and the fulfillment of that law, which is Jesus Christ, uh, the relationship between the old and the new covenant. And I would also, I also see in uh, the words of St. Paul uh, a sort of experiential uh, commentary on the difference between life before conversion to Christ and life in Christ. Uh, in this second letter, he begins by giving the credit to Christ and to God for any good that he's doing. He says, not that of ourselves we are qualified to take credit for anything as coming from us. Rather, our qualification comes from God, who has indeed qualified us as ministers of a new covenant, not of letter, but of spirit. For the letter brings death, but the spirit gives life. His humble admission is that awareness that comes from the experience of conversion. Uh, One may be born Catholic, practically. Within a few days of being born, even on the day of birth, one can be baptized and enter the church. But for many, there still uh, is a moment of definitive passage from uh, a sort of vain and weak and ineffective, generally uh, ineffective, attempt to conform to the law uh, as understood, you know, in the mind, but yet not uh, living in the heart. Uh, We grow up in a corrupt world. We grow up in a world that doesn't follow the law of God, that doesn't have the spirit of Christ. And so uh, it's very common to absorb uh, a spirit that isn't of Christ and try to live um, maybe unwittingly in a compromise between these two incompatible ways, uh, knowing that there is a law, knowing this letter Uh, which in and of itself doesn't uh, give life. It says here, the letter brings death, but the Spirit gives life. Knowledge of the law without the Spirit uh, is a condemnation. It, It doesn't free us. It just, we struggle vainly until truly then there's this experience of conversion of metanoia. It's a definitive sort of experience when one realizes um, that he must choose and choose God at all costs and at the cost of rejecting even uh, the world and, and the passing things of this earthly existence in order to remain in God and in that spirit then which gives life, which gives freedom. Jesus does not discredit or deny the law. He says clearly, do not think that I have come to abolish, but to fulfill. And Jesus is the fulfillment. He is the way. So it's up to us, to every one of us, uh, whether we are already in the church and baptized 
or for those who are still outside the church looking in um, to choose and to choose God and Christ definitively. We will still always struggle to some degree and maybe to a great degree. That's the whole uh, spirituality of Christian perfection, which is, uh, you know, simultaneously asceticism or life mortification and struggle and union with God, which is this mystical uh, goal of, of the Christian life, to become united to God. Uh, but even in the greatest of saints, the two are simultaneous. So the law and knowledge of that law and the our natural effort to conform and then that mystical grace of union with Christ who is the way, the truth, and the life that then allows us to actually be conformed and say with St. Paul that it isn't uh, through any credit to us that we are able to do good, but it's in Christ and in his spirit that we are able then to be pleasing to God and to live according to the way. We are in the month uh, dedicated to honoring the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ who desires so ardently for us to be united with him and alongside that sacred heart we honor the immaculate heart of Mary, she who from the very moment of her conception was always and completely united to God and through whom we have Christ. We ask her to intercede for us so that we too can pass from a sterile uh, attempt to observe the letter of the law to that living realization in us of the fulfillment of the law, who is Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. Praise be Jesus and Mary.